Right, got our asses kicked last time. I have to select a different type of tactic. Uh, we need to repel a fairly major air incursion, after which we need to face the wave of enemy tanks. And I think we also need to position ourselves in a way where we are not in direct line of fire at the start of the mission. We don't need to really destroy the helicopters coming our way initially, but there's helicopters, transport helicopters coming our way, combat helicopters, gunships coming our way, and a lot of aircraft in general coming our way. So I think this might be a feasible place to buy a SAM battery. We we also need to buy ordinance trucks to support them, but uh, a single ordinance truck purchase should do it. We'll pair the SAM sites and have a carrier supplying each, at least with 200 points extra. We need significant anti-air capability and sacrificial uh, vehicle capability. Uh, I think the infantry anti tank uh, is a good option here. Uh, I'll take a couple of infantry SAMs, basically because these SAM sites could still be very easily destroyed by enemy helicopters and things like that. But um, we'll buy what we can get, what we can with extra things. Uh, we also want dragon teams because we are going to let the enemy come to us and the terrain favors uh, closer combat ranges this time. Not sure well, how much infantry do we need. Also maybe light, no, no. It has to be anti-tank section. Anti-armor platoon. And it have to be the jeeps, really. Alternatively, create a huge amount of smoke and use the body vision to annihilate the enemy. I think that might be the most sensible thing to do, in fact. Um, the infantry can't fire through smoke. Right. I don't know if this is great, but uh, I think it has a much better chance of being successful than the previous attempt. Right. Uh, basically, we don't want to be on any of these hills. Rather, we want the enemy to at least come much closer before we start to engage. So we might have to have positions uh, behind these hills. That will limit how many enemies can fire at us at once. But I think the forest or uh, the air. Forest is probably actually a fairly good spot to be in. We'll start to see enemies very quickly, but not immediately. And if we have anti tank infantry spread around here. Uh, it, it'll it'll all be fine, I think. They land somewhere in our rear, so we'll have to leave some troops here. HQ probably included. The self-propelled artillery pieces can slaughter the enemy fairly easily, so I'm not too concerned about the infantry being dropped here. Mm, they basically accurately shot at these targets too. So we could leave units here, but they would be missile units. 
but the problem here is if something uh, it, there's no escape so once you fire your weapon you're right there in the open for everyone to shoot at Cobra! Cobra probably should be closer to the frontline action. That's where we need need the spotting capability, and it's fairly secure against enemy attacks. It really has to only worry about enemy anti-air, and we can probably get rid of most of those fairly easily. Okay, let's I'm not quite sure how we're gonna position all of these. Uh, I don't want to position any vehicles here because the enemy army here will see them almost immediately. This would be a much more like or a preferable place, but uh also means we'll have to move a little bit forward to get into a better position. More or less, uh, be here and fire at targets coming within range. Might also use infantry to provide smoke there, or just fire the smoke with tanks. Alternatively, pop up here, fire, and get back to cover. It's not a horrible way to do things. Tanks could get away with it. The, the missile launcher units cannot. Also, because there's so much uh, aircraft coming our way, I, I can't. I, I rather I don't want to position all these units uh, at the front line. They they're just gonna get destroyed. So. Problem is, I don't want to give them this. If I would give them that, though, I would be have. I think I have better places to put my units in. Okay, I need to put these somewhere. Ah, uh, light tanks. Could sort of go behind. Ooh, could go higher up actually. Uh, missile launchers positioned here. We could be, have a great line of fire. Problem is, they would also be spotted and immediately destroyed. So. Also, the weapon range is 60 with these. So while it's fine, it's not amazing. And then we will start here. The heal and the forest block their ability to see our units. Um, I'm a little bit worried about these because they will fire on the enemy helicopters moving moving through these areas. Right. Missile launchers. These could almost stay here. What's the range of these? Seventy five. Yeah, they probably had the range to fire on all targets. But they would have to have some kind of support to hide them in smoke or something. What exactly do you see? Visibility 82, and it's not great, it leaves this main area concealed, so it's 
It's actually a bit worse than I thought it would be. Not too impressed. Yeah, the, if I go there, they'll spot me before I actually have a chance to do a goddamn thing and destroy me. If I put them somewhere here, they'll almost never get to fire at anything. I think this opening might be our answer. We basically would shoot anything that comes through here and leave it at that. We'll be somewhat protected by the seal and the forest in any other, other direction. Could also leave a squad of infantry here to provide some smoke. Yeah, it has five smoke ammunition. Uh, this might actually be a better location for it. We need some smoke here. That's needed. We need the capability of providing the smoke here as needed. Sam sites. Mm. Maybe behind some of these. Uh, we want them to be in the middle of our own forces. <sighs> but also spread around a little bit, so a single enemy bombardment or air action isn't going to take them out. And a metric ton of dragon teams. Yeah, the infantry dragon teams could probably be placed here on the hill. We would start shooting when the targets get there. Some of them could be placed in the forest. Should I play some here? Mm. Mm. Uh, some stinger teams. No, no, no. They'll they'll automatically react to helicopters. So here might be an okay position. The vehicles won't be able to see it. Uh, only the aircraft will. But it's still fairly close to these, so they can provide uh, useful support. Um, Having extra support here probably isn't a horrible idea. Actually, I sort of like this because there's probably going to be a lot of combat helicopters moving about here. Ah, oh, god damn it, just. We need to be somewhat close to each other. But there, there are no good places. The uh, Sams are already covering the central area, so there's no point putting anything there. There's no point really putting anything up north unless I go to the hill. But that's a death sentence. We can maybe fire once and then we have to bail on the units permanently. So. 
maybe the forest they wouldn't be useful immediately but we could easily bring them out when um, there's a need for them ah, additional missile platforms purchase for this mission ah maybe uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a good position for this. Maybe another group here. We would spread these about a little bit more though, so not as, you can't just easily take care out of the entire group. Create a l line of death here. More stinger teams. Maybe put some additional stinger teams here. Again, they would mostly see aircraft and nothing else. Sniper. Sniper can go here. And probably here on the hill. Perfect. I need reaction ranges to be much more located. Your reaction range is zero. Um. Don't think it matters with the missile teams here. The more or less intended to. Okay, just the infantry needs to commit themselves. I think the SAMs should cut. Should they limit themselves? Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe. 100 will still cover most of the map, probably all of it in fact. Well, not all, but most. Uh, the, the reason I want to limit is because there's a... Uh, reasonably speaking, we can't actually do all the damage. Ooh, okay, this was a mistake. I moved just an entire group. It's not too big of a problem though. And the moment we can start firing at them, just start firing at them. Don't really see a reason to limit these teams. Singer teams. Um, I don't want to shoot fire far away targets. And you don't want to shoot at anything.
anti-tank missiles wasted. I'm surprised how bad the improved all missiles are. There we go. Do a huge amount of damage though, that's a clear advantage. Like, it's impossible to really survive that. Although, yeah, they're pretty accurate. Didn't realize how much we saw from these positions. We will have to redo things. Very likely at least. Basically what we need to do is just drop some smoke here. Right. Their the enemy numbers are too fast. They can see us right from the start without moving, so we're gonna yep. Everyone's going to die here. Sam sight's gone. Still, there's no fundamental big problem here. Ah, this is the problem. It's always been the problem. Uh, at the same time, I don't really see a reason why I shouldn't start uh, spamming missiles at them at this point. I mean, if we already see them, why on earth wouldn't I just shoot them right now? Want to save another missile for reaction fire. Alright. Hopefully the BMPs can't actually see us. Ooh. We're gonna run out of stinger missiles though. They're they're wasting so many of these and the these should not have been really hard to by stingers at all. I can't exactly stop that, so these would have been perfectly fine if they would have landed their troops. The troops are easily taken care of because they're in one single gigantic stack. Single artillery part shooting at that will kill all of them. So this time we are not doing anything. Again, it's fine, just be massive difference. Hawk site gone. Not much I can do about that though. Very different from previously. They deployed everything in the different location. Don't think it'll make that much of a difference for us. That's the end of that stack of uh, infantry. Oh, in that sense, 
know it depends. Yeah, these paratroopers are not going to be all that much about the bridge as well. Slight miscalculation in positioning. That's basically it. Also, we have the sniper here spotting them, so there's no way they can uh, escape my notice. Right, on to more important things. I don't, don't want to do anything with these, but uh, you have a hint we can shoot at, but we can shoot at the hint first. Infantry, can you see a goddamn thing? Yes, you can see a lot of goddamn things. When... Mm, the smoke will dissipate quickly, but we need to start replenishing it now. We can keep doing it for a while. And more importantly, we need to keep doing it for a while. Two more. One more. Right. There's a limit to this, though. So we need to achieve quite a bit in the next few turns. Which should not really be a problem. Right. Uh, no, no, no. These guys have to start shooting first. That, that's the only thing that makes sense. The anti-air gun. Really care what we fire at. Uh, I don't want to necessarily shoot at the closest units because uh, the infantry and the tank missiles can shoot at the close already. They will not be able to shoot at the rear supporting units. This is going to be bad for them. Yet they can't really effectively respond for a while now. Okay, you're also in a terrible position, so uh, move a little bit higher. So that's a lot of extra tanks coming. Okay, more, I just want to get an idea of what exactly we should be shooting at. We should be getting rid of the BMPs the best of our ability.
they have a pretty much two separate army groups. So the one here is uh, unfazed by all these casualties. Uh, no, there's even more. Okay, anything within range? No. Not yet. Yeah, not quite. They're right at the edge of the line of fire. Which is fine, I suppose. Hmm. A little bit worried about these lake objects. I can probably see them very fairly soon. Also, want to conserve my shots. Um. Ah. Okay. Could you do something? Uh, why do I see some targets? Do I see something there? No. I, I don't particularly want to stay here. The aircraft do have anti-tank missiles. So, they are most likely just going to withdraw. And so that's not really a problem, but that's just the uh, most likely scenario, that's not really guaranteed. I'm not sure if... I, I don't want to hop up here, really. There's going to be an immediate response, and if I go there with... Yeah. If I go there with tanks, they're going to be shot away. There's 50 through C, 53 units that I can see. Most of them probably... You know, they're pretty much all tanks. And we achieved nothing. Excellent. I suppose we got a fairly accurate uh, view of the situation here. Might be a reasonable idea to pull away some of the tanks. Basically, put them behind the limited smoke screen too. Uh, they currently, if I pop up from here, I'm gonna get shot to pieces. At the same time, I sort of want to be in a position where I can uh, press my advantage at any moment. So we have to be ready to move. So, but I don't know. If this could be a waste. Huge waste. We'll see. Uh, we do have the ability to drop some smoke here. Hard smoke ammunition. It's not a horrible idea. The helicopters can see us though. That is something we have to keep in mind. Something I totally forgot. One less helicopter. Right, a lot of tanks uh, see us already, so I don't think the SAMs are gonna. No, no, the SAMs see through the smoke too. I think they are much more protected than they appear to be. Okay, how about SAM infantry? Basically, if the helicopters fly over here, they can do something. If not, they are not able to do anything. 
This is a worthless unit now. Surely there are more. <sighs> so if I go there I'll die immediately in the way. Yeah, I, I think we're more or less fine with this. Alternative the only alternative we could really do is go on the hill and start shooting with the tanks. Problem is as long as the helicopters are there they're gonna immediately shoot at us. At least two of them still there, right? Although they could probably shoot at our missile platforms too, so I'm not sure if uh, this is uh, the best option. run out of missiles. So when the aircraft come, we can't really shoot them with anything but the dedicated fog uh, sand strikes. Helicopters are shooting. They'll probably kill it too, but they're wasting their shots so they can't shoot anti tank missile. Also fairly close to the infantry now. Close enough that any kind of anti-air machine can fire could reasonably them. Yes, sap sites are now. It's a sensible thing to attack though. Ah, aircraft disabled. Close ammo bar like this, but the, the SAM size were worms. Holy shit! Mobilized. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Okay, not catastrophic though, like in the first attempt. Um, there's like one uh, Spetsnet squad still coming here in our general direction. And he's dead. So their attack really ended before it began. Helicopters or no helicopters? Two squads still left. One squad still left. This guy is more valuable as a spotter than uh, as a really a killer, so... How in the hell can you see that? Smoke? No, not even smoke. Yeah, 
just can't fire it. Well, it's it's not really going to be able to contribute much to things anymore. Um, this helicopter is a big problem. That's something we have to take care of. We do have two stinger teams here. I can't see the target though. Hmm. Right. It's probably a little bit of suppression here. Actually, less than I thought, uh, because no one died. They, they shot at us quite a bit, but no one died. Now these are abandoned. In them. Okay, this is ready for action. And it's full of missiles. Actually, no. No, it's not. Our last air defense. I'm not too worried about it. They they wasted most of their big shots already, so uh, we might suffer and die, but we got the worst of it out of the way. Okay, some of the Abramses uh, could start to shoot at things. Right, this could probably drive the me away, but we also need to counter the tanks coming our way. And the smoke is clearing again. Ooh, these guys have decided to go through the hill and forest. That'll complicate things. Uh, I think we need to maybe start applying smoke here and pop up and start shooting these guys. Okay, where's the... We could go after the helicopter too, I suppose. I didn't really think of that. Ooh, they have artillery here. I'm not sure what the helicopters are doing. Maybe getting back into action. Yeah, there's quite a few helicopters they have. Okay, you are firing at me constantly, so go away. Uh, I can do another missile shot. I try to get rid of their helicopter. Okay, this won't work. If I move this much, I can't fire. I don't think it took a single point of damage. Not impressed. I don't dare to move the stinger teams. The enemy will basically spot it immediately. Uh, enemies are also not in range yet. Might never be. At the same time, these cut off the enemy advance through the road fairly effectively. <sighs> ah, it's... Can we shoot at anything useful? Yes, yes we can. Um, 
I, I can't stay in a huge line like this, I need to spread things out a little bit. We'll do it after we fired our shot. Anti-air unit. Perfect, perfect, beautiful shots. I could shoot at a helicopter, I think, but I don't think so. Now this one has too much suppression, I don't want to fire with it. It would be a waste of a shot. And really can't see anything. So more or less things are perfectly fine there. I don't think the helicopter firing accuracy is actually quite as good as it seems. It's not 40%. Might have to do it eventually, but I don't think that's a good idea now. Also, we are nearing the last smoke that we can deploy, so... Uh, that's the thing. Not sure if we should deploy any smoke yet. However, I think we have to do things here. I can deploy 5 smoke in total. I think I can deploy 3 on this turn. Might have to sell for 2. Yeah. We do direct uh, accuracy here for shooting. Mm, what exactly do you see? 22 targets, and I can't really see any worthwhile targets I could aim at. Okay, some of the T-72s are okay targets. We could fire at their rear artillery pieces. And that's about it. Seriously, am I seeing crew? Uh, I see a lot of helicopters, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's actually more or less it. Uh, T-72s are fine targets. Okay, fired a billion times, that's the classic, classic way of doing tank fights. The accuracy was fairly good too, that's sort of what it's in the off. We should have gotten more hits, at least these guys hit, but they'll kill any of them. I don't care too much. If the aircraft are by all probability they're aiming at something else. For fuck's sake, at least hit it. You no, know, how much is the chance to hit 40%? Eh, no. Still 8. Yeah. I mean, 4 shots all miss and that those probabilities. That's not good. Uh, I think the smoke might be dissipating a bit too much here. So at least a little bit of a reinforcement on that. It's not a bad thing. <sighs> oh, maybe the stinger teams. Yeah, these guys are going to be annihilated if we stay here. So, 
this run. Still have a fairly robust army left. But they're getting hit too. Our problem being that their anti tank missiles are better than ours. Still, a couple light tank losses don't. Uh, this is a much bigger problem. Yeah, their aircraft can see us. Smoke isn't gonna make us. Wonder if it has even has a chance to bring it up the like this. Ooh, it's not coming back. It's actually destroyed. Right. So we lost a light tank. Big deal. Um, there should be an uh, infantry unit somewhere there. Can't see it. Fair enough. We have extra missiles again. Wonderful. Might we be able to get one of the SAM sites to work again? Okay. I'm gonna have to start shooting missiles at the Hins. They're by far our biggest threat in the northern area. There's a couple of slow moving tanks, but that's about it. Also, these guys are in terrible position. Yeah, no enemy fire now. We could try to go after the Hin in a close quarter fighting. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Um, it's routed. It, it's definitely going to try to retreat at the best possible speed. It might have the speed to exit the map. Hmm. Excellent. Dragon team. Any targets within range? Yes. Uh, I don't want to shoot at the end. These guys don't have that many missiles. And there are still uh, at least a platoon of tanks coming from there. Uh, no missiles left, so bail. No missiles. I think I'm going to keep firing at the hind. These guys just don't have that many targets to choose from, and they have a decent amount of ammunition. We might as well shoot at the less likely targets too. And the extra suppression probably won't go to waste. It'll just make it increasingly unlikely that they can somehow rally it and prevent it from uh, escaping the map. Mm. Yeah, the, this still the chances of actually hitting a 
helicopter with these missiles is so low, it's, it is really, uh, it, it might hit, but it's still a desperation shot. I think I'm going to say the other missiles, they could be uh, proper armored units coming our way. That would be pretty much a shame if we would waste them all and shooting a helicopter that was already escaping the area. Okay. It's a nice concentration of enemy units behind this smoke. So if we could actually achieve goddamn thing here, that would be great. Yeah, we can't can't see any of them. Any proper tanks we could see? I don't think so. We can see some of their heavy artillery pieces. That's it. Might be better to save the shots because this is gonna lead to um wait. Can we see more from here? But we still only see the top of the hill, which is in Bearable, really. We had three smokes, so we can try to push forward. But they're gonna shoot me if I go over here. We have no more smoke. One more smoke. That's going to dissipate. But at the same time, there's really nothing that could uh, realistically fire at us anyway. Well, the helicopters, naturally. Should I try to stay here? That's the question. Leaning toward that might be not a bad bad idea. I, I really don't know how much they can fire up at us though. That's the big problem. This could be incredibly risky. At the same time, we sort of do want to stay here even if it is risky. Try to get a chance at shooting the steward. We leave other singer teams here to the point where uh, they have other things to fire upon. Something has to change on this turn, or when their turn uh, comes. If we put basically sit here staring at each other, we're gonna run out of smoke, and then the not so fun part begins here. And the helicopters are still a problem. We could still lose a lot of tanks here, so I don't know if this is a great idea. But on the other hand, if the helicopter doesn't fire upon us now, we are in a fairly good position to take down a lot of tanks. It's uh, at least worth trying out.
there anymore. And those are fairly expensive units too. I love that they try to go after the helicopter. I think they pretty much have no chance of beating it. How much casualties do we have? Um, not that much. I mean, we have a few losses, but they're they're not valuable kills. Mm. Oh fuck! Let's take it back. Ooh! Oh 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 oh! This is uh, this is nice. They're going to try to drive for the flags. What else could they possibly do? I don't think they can get past the light tanks. They certainly not going to get past the Cobra. Who was it? Ooh, the Indus bottom. Yeah, I can't see it. I sort of want to go next to the helicopter and try to shoot at it. We're so far away. Do I have any ch realistic chance of hitting a goddamn thing? Have to go to the rear, and even then, chances of hitting aren't great. Where the fuck is the anti air unit firing from? Right, we can't realistically hope to really destroy them like this, but we can hope to use this to basically suppress them, keep them out of the, or keep them from destroying our tanks and all that. Mostly see fleeing infantry. And there it is. Anti air menace. Uh, we got a good hit on it. Okay, let's ease our helicopter actions quite a bit. I uh, still can't see anything worthwhile. Okay. Mm, right. So we're losing the smoke cover. Thanks first. More or less looks like we can shoot at a one decent target. And we can't kill it. There's going to be a lot of tanks coming uh, over that hill on the next turn, so I'm basically going to hold my shots here. No ammunition for us. Mm. 
Mm, still not sure if I should pull back though. Ah, right. I think we don't have to drop more smoke yet, but on the next turn we must. Here we will lose the smoke screen if we don't reapply it now. This will be the last time we can do it. Uh, so the infantry could probably go somewhere else and do useful things. Uh, actually, one of them could stay here, just to prevent the enemy from trying to just push their way through. Now the singer teams have really nowhere to go. There's no ammo refills anymore. They're not quite in range. No missiles left. Hmm. Pretty useful skill. Uh, kill. They're mostly retreating. But buttoned up at least. Mm, do I need to do more? I think we're in a sort of a position where things could go in a few directions now. If they go our way, it's pretty much the end of this mission. If not, it will have to struggle for a couple of extra turns to get the end, same end result. Helicopter down. Valuable kills. Yeah, now they start coming over to the field. Life tank loss. I haven't been paying attention to how much screws those tanks we've been losing to. Doesn't exactly look good though. It's a lot of experience lost. Ooh, they're trying to assault us. Excellent. Luck with that. They still have tanks ready, coming constantly toward us, but I uh, don't really see how they could possibly push through. Go there, the helicopter could possibly kill us, and it's buttoned, it's not really routed or anything. I lost the crew there. No effect. Have a huge amount of missiles, and these are fairly well suppressed. So I'm not sure if we should fire. 
13 targets. Enemy HQ coming uh, right at us. Just dude. Where are you shooting? Oh, come on. Track hits no effect. That's bullshit. How are we gonna get get their HQ? Let's get a self-propelled artillery unit to get anywhere near them. That would do it. But the helicopters are keeping us in check fairly well, I think. They haven't really used their anti-tank missiles, so trying to go there now without some kind of a robust anti-air capability is pretty suicidal. Holy shit, one of the SAMs is back into action. Can you see a helicopter? Still, we have a SAM side again. How many missiles? A single missile. Yeah, that's not gonna be able to achieve much, but it's still something. Mm, they are losing the smoke. We can apply one more. I think this is probably the best location. Because the BMPs are coming from there. And there aren't that many units coming from the front area. I could start shooting at their uh, artillery pieces. How many shots do we have? Uh, I'll leave two tanks here ready to act. I'll have two tanks just fire on whatever targets they can. Uh, we could also take down their HQ very likely. Oh shit, yeah, this is what I was made of. Clickety clickety click. However, the HQ kill would be great. There we go. No more HQ for you. That's no effect. Well, it's bottomed, I guess. But there's so many still coming our way. Okay, I want to shoot at their artillery pieces. They probably have a decent amount of value. And it's another casualty we can add to the list.
Uh, we're in a very risky position. I don't think they have great anti-air capability. I mean, anti-air uh, capabilities anymore. So I think I'm gonna try to go and uh, fight the other helicopters. They take damage. It's pretty much impossible to see. One point of damage. Not exactly a lot, but uh, one point would be the difference between the unit staying there and bugging out permanently. So uh, we have four missiles and six shots with the minigun, so we might still be able to use this effectively. Also, I, I want another one because of the huge amount of enemy helicopters, we can basically use our own helicopters to counter them to some extent. Uh, they're also pretty impossible to destroy if the enemy anti-air capabilities have been removed. I mean, they could still do it, but it requires a lot of concentrated effort to pull off, and they don't seem to be able to do it. It's another helicopter here. Last missile. But still, it's gonna kill. Yeah, good luck assaulting through this. Yeah. Pretty tough on the old morale. They still have T-72 tanks in the north, and there's really not much to counter them. Three thousand one hundred seventy one for the US Army, Russia one hundred seventy one. No complaints. I thought we would have gotten more helicopters kills, but I guess we damaged quite a few, especially the combat helicopters. Two bombers down though, that's nice. Uh, not that much men. Uh, the men would pay, were basically paratroopers that we squashed at the start. Yeah. The most important part about this is that now we have, uh, I feel, a fairly effective combat tactic we can use against these swarms of enemy tanks. We need a decent amount of anti-tank missile capability, that's true, but uh, Few cheap infantry units that have smoke grenades are more valuable than anything else. So an uh, engineering platoon is a fairly good way to do that. Veterans. 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 Yeah, the missile teams are getting veterans fairly quickly. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to repair the Sheridans. <sighs> anyway, last Abrams. At least for now. Sheridans, I think they were better either to go with Abrams or the uh, M901s. The Sheridans sort of they're fine, but eh. Cobra. I don't think we want too many cobras, though. The one did most of the job it needed to do already, so another one, while nice, wouldn't be that important. At the same time, we don't really have any use for these either. So more cobras would definitely be more useful. They could at least take down a couple tanks per turn, and more importantly, we could shift some anti-tank capability all around the battlefield as needed. So if we need to pull some kind of miracle out of our ass, the cobras could pull it off. 
everything else would be in dire danger to trying to move across the battlefield. Do I want to repair the Sheridans? That's the, the question mark here. I, I'm not sure why I do. There, there have been a... I mean, the self-propelled artillery are far, far superior against infantry. But they can't do anything else. The Sheridans, on the other hand... Uh, can do infantry okay, but the enemy doesn't have it. Not really. Problem is, they only have a single uh, missile launch per turn, and uh, it's uh, not that good. So the another M901, in many ways, would be a far superior option. Sixteen points to fix. Just looking at our options and costs. Uh, mobile SAM sites? Uh, I'm not saying this would be a great thing to take, but uh, we might want to consider it. We have no dedicated anti-air capability now in the army, and the Sheridans are sort of wasted. So if we could have a couple of uh, SAM sites, these have 12 missiles, so these wouldn't have to be refilled either. And they could seriously... They have they have no vision. No, no, no. We're not taking them. Uh, we could pay, they would have to basically sit there right in the open. Or do would they? Um, I'm saying that as a question mark. Because I don't think the dedicated SAM sites, the Hawk sites, I uh, don't think I can take one. Uh, I don't think they have a vision value either, but they seem to see through the smoke. So, I, I don't know. And it's very expensive to just buy them uh, separately for every mission. These are 16 points to replace. Yeah, they cost about half the unit cost. The thing is, these are worth 32. The M901s, which are more useful, are actually cheaper too. Huh. Yeah, I'm thinking of switching. We will switch the three that have been destroyed. It's just the nature of the missions favored these type of units. Light tanks in them in and of themselves are not bad. And I think with the other two, I, I'm seriously thinking about taking the. Um, Mobile SAM unit. I'll actually think you. I think I'll buy these until the next mission because just to test out. Well, I can actually test that out outside this, but I want to see basically is the vision zero. Does it mean it's a vision zero, or does it just mean that the, the SAM sites don't necessarily use quite the same values? I need to see if it's if if smoke doesn't blind it, then it can effectively be used with a lot of the other missile launchers, and uh, I definitely want that. Yep, left with 48 points, uh, which is fine. The US 5th Corps counteroffensive is underway. The US 3rd Armored and 24th Mechanized Divisions are leading the attack near Bad Nostad. Intel indicates that a Soviet B-class division is guarding this sector for the Soviet Third Guards Army. Your unit will spearhead the attack. Your orders are to secure all bridges across the Sal River and the nearby hills. Please not be an assault. It's a river crossing, so these could be almost anything. 
OK. So we'll start from this side very likely. And have to reach here probably. A little bit of city fighting, which is actually where the self propelled artillery and light tanks are not that horrible. Neither are helicopter gunships, though, either. I think I'll leave things here. I'll start again when I have a uh, army deployed. I'm not sure what I need. Yeah, it's a uh, it's, uh, assault. We have the auto map artillery support, strike elements and all. So, yeah, this is gonna be shit.